Diane in Denmark here, ra ra ra, and I have got a fun and very festive video for you today. This is another one of the videos where I'm working together with my friend Steph, Steph who is a secret slob. And for those of you who maybe haven't met her yet, I know a lot of you have found me through her or have found her through me. Uh, Steph was the one who was, um, like we all have been, struggling with uh, being overwhelmed with the house and with everything else. She saw my Fly Lady videos, you know, the baby step ones got started and she has her own channel. She's been keeping herself accountable and she has gone great guns with the whole stuff. And now we are working together once a month. We're giving you a little fun video. First one we did were, was we were introducing ourselves. Last month we gave you our five go-to last minute meals. So maybe you want to go and revisit that if you're kind of getting overwhelmed with um, what to eat right now. And today we're giving you something again, a wee bit different, our five family traditions. It's just not Christmas for us without these things. So I hope you'll go and watch Steph's video because I'm sure she's in Canada. I'm, I'm sure she has very different traditions than our ones here in Denmark. Uh, we, we are also um, a mixed family. I am uh, Scottish and British. My husband is Danish and we have two kids. So we have a mix of traditions going on in our house. And I am in Denmark and we have so, so many traditions. So it was actually really hard to cook it down to just five. But today I'm going to give you five things that for me is just not Christmas without these things. So uh, I hope you're ready to get started. Uh, maybe you want to grab, oh, I've just been drinking some uh, hot uh, Christmas tea, maybe a cup of uh, hot cocoa with uh, some marshmallows and cream. I mean, it is Christmas. Uh, and get started. Hold on, let me put that down there. So for my number one thing, it's just not Christmas without it's just not Christmas without the candles. Now, you know, in Denmark, if you've seen any of my videos, we have candles going the whole year long, also in summer. But at Christmas, we have our countdown candle. This is the one that we start today for the 1st of December. And we use this at breakfast. It's very, very dark here in Denmark in the month of December. We get about six hours of daylight if we're lucky. And candles are so important to us. It's just a kind of a survival technique. So we have breakfast by candlelight, and that's, that's the one that we use when we're downstairs here in the morning. I've also got this one, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me posting a picture of this every day. This is the one, number one, we start today with number one, and then tomorrow I'll change it out for number two, number three, and so on and so forth. So I love, I love the candles. So anyway, let me just put, put those to the side. So candles, they are a must have. We also have Advent candles every Sunday. So anyway, more, more about that in another video. Let me just put this one to the side. Okay, the second thing for me, it's just not Christmas until my husband is in here in the kitchen cooking. Now, I've mentioned this before, my husband isn't a great cook. He can follow a recipe, but um, he says himself that when he's trying to taste things, it's like sticking his tongue out the window. He has no idea. So once a year, the kitchen is his domain. And these are an important part of it. And you're saying to yourself, why is Diane holding a pair of number three knitting needles? Because nobody in our house knits. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> it's not Christmas until my husband has made the family recipe for... Da, da, da. Oh, this is a really heavy one. It's good for doing a workout. Uh, Christmas donuts, Danish Christmas donuts. If you're in the States, you may know them um, as Abel Skewer. We, we have these at Christmas and it's a big tradition for us. And it's a big tradition in our family when my husband comes into the kitchen and he takes over the, the whole place and he spend, spends the whole afternoon making Abel Skewer. Uh, and contrary to popular belief, we, we do not put slices of apple in Abel skewer. That's a very, very old thing. Nobody in Denmark puts pieces of apples in their Abel skewer these days. If you want to see a video about that, I've made a video uh, showing you how to make them. And I, I tell you, what, you can see me using the knitting needles. Now, why do we use the knitting needles? In my husband's family, when you... You cook, you put the dough in here, the little doughnuts, and then you turn them over when they're halfway through cooking. And in my husband's family, they have always used a knitting needle. So 
<laughs> anyway, my husband, he likes to use a number three knitting needle. So this is the only pair of knitting needles I have in the house. Nobody else uses them. Uh, and we keep, keep them with the Abel Skewer uh, pan for making them. So it's not Christmas without Abel Skewer. And usually he makes oh, about 130 of them. Uh, and, and we a lot, and then we bag them up and freeze them uh, to eat over the Christmas period. Okay, where did I get to? That was number uh, two. Number three, a British thing that, that we must have at Christmas, and it's, it's not uh, anything to do with Denmark. The Danes do have crackers, but they usually use them at New Year. But British Christmas crackers. I have not lived in Scotland since I was uh, 21, yeah, uh, and I'm 52 now. Christmas for me is not complete with Christmas crackers. So we have Christmas crackers on our table. And I think it's just that thing of, it's a really childish thing to do. You know, you pull the cracker, boom, it goes off with a bang. Uh, you get the silly hat to wear. There's a really dreadful joke inside, some kind of corny joke and a little gift. Uh, but going through December, you'll, you'll see what's in our crackers for this year. And I love them so much. I actually found some small ones that you can use at breakfast. Uh, or, or lunch and I often take these when I'm down swimming doing my winter bathing for us to have when, when we have a little snack afterwards so Christmas crackers British Christmas crackers they are a must okay next on the list number four in Denmark it's really not Christmas without dancing and singing and holding hands around the Christmas tree now, that may seem like a kind of weird, weird concept to some of you, uh, but you know, in Britain we uh, go caroling, we sing Christmas carols, go door to door, and, but in Denmark, a really important part of the 24th uh, Christmas Eve, when we celebrate Christmas, is you move the Christmas tree into the middle of the room, and be, be careful if you've got lights plugged in. We pull it into the middle of the room, and all the presents are underneath, and we hold hands and you kind of look each other in the eye, and we, we dance and walk around the Christmas tree singing. And it's just a really, it's just a really uh, beautiful moment, and, and we can sing uh, funny Christmas songs, or we can sing some hymns, and, and I've got them in here. Uh, I keep them in my Fly Lady control journal, you know, the Christmas holiday control journal. And then up to Christmas, I put them in a box, and then I've got them ready. I'm, I'm going to put this box actually underneath the Christmas tree. <laughs> then we know where to find them. Uh, and you can see here we've got uh, songs like la 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 yule, die la la yule, you all know that one. Uh, uh, and then the British, uh, which is Silent Night, sorry, I should say, Silent Night. Um, we also have the British version of Silent Night, Away in a Manger. Uh, and in Denmark, you'll often see these little songbooks. They're given away with magazines and newspapers up to Christmas. And people sing, uh, as I said, it's just something. It's just Christmas is not complete without uh, holding hands and singing around the Christmas tree. A beautiful moment. Right, how are we doing for time? Oh, good. Okay, on to the last one. That was number four. Number five. Christmas for me is not Christmas until I have said a last Merry Christmas to my besties, my winter bathing besties. Now, you know me, I am a winter bather, which means I, I swim naked all year round in the Danish sea. If you, if you don't know what that is, I've made videos about it. It's all on, on my Life in Denmark playlist. And my besties and I, we celebrate everything down at the bathing bridge. We celebrate birthdays, we celebrate Easter, 1st of December, we've got Santa hats on, Santa Lucia on the 13th of December, where we're, we're wearing uh, Santa Lucia outfits. And when we meet for the last time before Christmas, before we all go off to our respective families to, to have Christmas, we do a little gift exchange. And I've got, I always bring a tiny tree. So, so we're down there, you know, we've just got our towels on, our Christmas hats. And we put this little tree in, in the changing room and we, we hold hands and we sing around our little tree. We've got some candles, we've got good, some good snacks. We exchange gifts and we just thank each other for, for the friendship that we've had that year. You know, I love my besties, uh, Vivek and Helena. And it's just, for, for me, that's like the icing on the Christmas cake. We, you know, give each other a hug 
and we say goodbye to each other and then you know we go off to hold Christmas with our families and that for me it's just not Christmas without that. Anyway I hope you've enjoyed a few pictures along the way. I'm going to try and keep this video to uh, under 15 minutes so because you know me and Steph we, we like to keep our videos short we want you not, we're, we're hopefully here to motivate you and not have you sitting on your bookie all the time. Anyway, please let me know what makes it Christmas for you. And I'm sure if you're outside of Denmark, you maybe have some com completely different traditions. I've heard a lot about this pickle that you have to uh, hide and find. Uh, I think that was in the States. Uh, so anyway, let us know what makes it Christmas for you. What, what is Christmas not complete without, whether it's mince pies, or uh, going to church and watching the kids doing the nativity play. I mean, j j just let, let's share a bit of joy here. So anyway, on that note, I'm gonna to say to you, live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you. And if you want to know more about the candles and about what we eat in Denmark, it's all on my um, Life in Denmark playlist and my recipes and crafts playlist. So anyway, have a f fabulous 1st of December and I shall see you very soon. Okay, bye for now. Han er talsk og nattop, ståler juleglansen, stille men spil lystigt op, nu begynder dansen. Læg nu små din hånd i min, ikke røde den morsin, nå skal træet vises, siden skal det spises. Og sådan var det. Nu mor, hvad er jeg blevet træt, og vi får af mere. Moder er i køkkenet, nu skal hun traktere. Derfor får hun denne på, løft en gang var denne to, men hun var længe, koster mange penge. Hurra, ja, det er jul! Juhu! 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 Juhu!